Confucius, Socrates, Albert Einstein. These are some of the great names of people that we learn from. I'd like to add one more. Mr. Miyagi. Hello again everyone, I'm Eli's dad from Project Eli where we educate, we lead and we inspire. And you know, when you focus on one thing and have tunnel vision and singleness of purpose, everything around you tends to relate to that one thing. That's the beauty of having a singleness of purpose. It gives you opportunities for new ideas. Well, here we are, Thanksgiving time, everyone's taking a break. I turned on a movie. Can I go over with you what I learned from the great Mr. Miyagi? And I'm going to give you some quotes here from the movie itself, okay? Mr. Mi and, and this scene is where he's starting to train Daniel to learn karate. So Mr. Miyagi says, now nah, ready? Yeah, I guess so. Daniel-san, must talk. Walk on the road, hmm? Walk on the right side, safe. Walk on the left side, safe. Walk in the middle, sooner or later, squish. Just like a grape. Here, karate, same thing. Either you karate do, yes, or karate do, no. You karate, guess so? Just like a grape. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Now ready? Yeah, I'm ready. When you walk in the middle of the road, when you, when you don't take a particular posture, that's when you're most likely to get crushed by a grape. So when you go for something, go all in. Singleness of purpose. Next scene, where they're about to enter the tournament. And Daniel is talking to Mr. Miyagi. Hey, what kind of belt do you have? Canvas, J.C. Penny, 398. You like? Daniel-san, karate here. Karate here. Never here. Understand? The point is, before you can do anything at a, lev at a level of excellence, you've got to be all in right up here. It starts here. It th you don't, you're not great because somebody said you're great. You're great because of the things that you learn, the things that you know, the things that you can do. It starts here. It doesn't start with what somebody tells you, oh, you're great. It always, you always have to have that self-esteem, that confidence right in here. Okay, you remember the scene where Mr. Miyagi is coming back from fishing and Daniel has been painting his fence. Okay, Miyagi returns from fishing as Daniel's painting the house. He comes in, he says, oh, Miss Spot, what spot? Hey, how come you didn't tell me you were going fishing? You not here when I go. Well, maybe I wanted to go. Did you ever think of that? You karate training. I'm what? I'm being your slave is what I'm being here, man. Now, come on. We made a deal here. So? So? You're supposed to teach and I'm supposed to learn. For four days, I've been busting my butt and haven't learned a darn thing. You learn plenty. I learned plenty, yeah. I learned how to sand your decks, maybe. I wash your car, paint your house, paint your fence. I learned plenty. Ah, not everything is as it seems. Oh, baloney, I'm going home, man. Daniel-san, wait. And then he brings Daniel over and he says, paint the house sand the decks and he's throwing punches and he's learning and he's saying and then Daniel then the light goes on in Daniel's head and says I learned how to do the things that are necessary that are going to put me in a position to succeed 
Not only that, but by doing them on a repetitive basis, I developed muscle memory so that my hands move where they're supposed to move at the right time. Keep these things in mind. Not every single thing that you do is go you're going to be able to look at it and say, oh, that's a great accomplishment. Sometimes it's a bit, they're bits and pieces. You put them together, you establish muscle memory, and then when you put the whole package together, then you've accomplished something. Okay, do you remember the scene where uh, Mr. Miyagi is standing up and he's doing the crane, all right? And he's standing up on one leg and he's doing the crane. And Daniel says to him, could you teach me? Mr. Miyagi says, first learn stand, then learn fly. Nature ruled, Daniel-san, not mine. Where'd you learn it from? Father teach. You must have had some father, man. Oh, yes. Here's the point. Nature has laws, and you can't go from being, let's say, somebody that's 16 years old and wants to play basketball to becoming Michael Jordan in one day. It doesn't happen that way. You have to learn the little nuances, the little tricks, the little skills that you're going to need to advance. So you have to be patient about that. And that's not a law that I made up or that Mr. Miyagi made up. That is a law of nature. And nature's laws are consistent and they work without prejudice. All right, there's the scene where Mr. Miyagi is teaching Daniel, finally, how to throw a punch. He's wearing a catcher's mask and he's wearing pads. Daniel-san, secret to punch. Make the power of whole body fit inside one inch, here. Power, whole body, one inch, here. Now, punch, hard. And then Daniel gives him a sort of a, a weak punch. What's the matter? You some kind of girl or something? Punch! Drive a punch. Not your storm. Whole body, hip, leg, drive a punch. Make Kai, Kai, Kai. Give you power. Now, try punch. That is what you have to do in order to succeed. You have to take your entire being and have it focus on that one spot. That is what makes you successful, is by giving it complete concentration, that singleness of purpose is what's going to get you there. This is such a key point. That's why I'm going over it again and again. All right, Daniel's just gotten his driver's license. And Mr. Miyagi has given him a car for his birthday. And he tells him, just remember, license never replace ear, eye, and brain. And Daniel sort of gets quiet. What matter? I'm just scared, you know, the tournament and everything. You remember lesson about balance? Yeah. Lesson not just karate only. Lesson for whole life. Whole life have a balance. Everything be better. Understand? You've got to remember always that there are three sides to the balance sheet. The personal side, the spiritual side, and the business side of the balance sheet. And you must pay attention to each side of the balance sheet, not always equally. Sometimes you know, on the business side of the balance sheet, you know, your focus is there, you're staying late at work. Sometime on the personal side of the balance sheet, when you're on vacation, when you're with your family and, you, you know, your focus is there, don't be thinking about business there. You have to have that separator and recognize that each side of the balance sheet gives you balance. And they all come together to make you the person that you want to become. So when you're focusing on one thing in the spiritual side, when you're in, you know, church or a synagogue or a mosque, and 
you know, that's your focus, make that your 100% focus. Don't be thinking about business while you're sitting in a pew at church. Focus on what you're doing. Focus on the spiritual side. Or focus on the personal side when you're doing something with family. Or focus on the business side when you're doing something with business. Block out the time. Have singleness of purpose. Keep your eye on the ball. All right, they're, they're about to go into the tournament. So Daniel is obviously a little bit anxious. All right, this is the moment of truth is coming. I don't know if I know enough karate. Feeling correct. You sure know how to make a guy feel confident. Daniel's son, you trust the quality of what you know, not quantity. Key point. You can learn little bits and pieces. The key point is it's the quality of the things that you've learned and not the quantity. There are some people that, as an example, keeping busy is very, very important to them. It's, it's a badge of honor. Oh, I'm so busy. I can't do that. I'm so busy. You know, they have a to-do list. They got to do this. They got to do that, and so on and so forth. And they follow their to-do list. Well, a lot of times what these people do is they do their to-do list, and they do this, they do that, they do this, they do that. And then at the end of the day, they look down, and you know what they see? A pile of doo-doo. It's the quality of the things that you do. It's the quality of the things that you learn that will separate you and help you advance to become the person that you want to become. All right, they're entering the tournament. Daniel says to Mr. Miyagi, All right, so what are the rules here? Miyagi says, Don't know. First time you, first time me. Well, I figured you knew about this stuff. I figured you went to these before. Oh, great. I'm dead. I'm dead. You told me you fought a lot. For life, not for points. Keep in mind that the things that you're doing, there's a bigger picture. And sometimes that one specific function that you're performing is merely a small piece of a greater canvas. So, People that have not only worked on that small piece, but have worked on the big picture, have the experience, have the knowledge, and they're in a position to give you help. And they look at things from the big picture where you frequently only look at things in a microcosm. So keep this in mind for life, not for points. Daniel says, no offense, Mr. Miyagi, but I don't think you understand my problem. Miyagi understand problem perfect. Here's something to keep in mind, Eli, and this is especially for you. You may think that the challenges that you're facing in your life, whether they have to do with school, with basketball, with, with girls, with getting along with people, getting along with teachers, whatever, that you're, that it's a unique situation that's happening to you that hasn't happened to other people. I'm here to tell you that it may not be exactly the same, but the same feelings that you're feeling are feelings that were felt by people before you. And that's why it's important to express your feelings, express your thoughts, express your anxieties to your mentor, to your dad, because in fact, I do understand, so give me the chance to help. And because we'll never end a meeting on a philosophical note, let's get out there and take charge! I'm Eli's dad.